My name is Chris. Welcome to the CMT Performance Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use Access Tuner Race to change your car's fueling table so that it starts correctly on E85 in colder temperatures. I know a lot of people in PA are probably running into this problem right now because it's November, it's starting to get cold, and uh, you know, you want to keep using the magical corn fuel E85 for that power, but um, it sure is a pain in the butt when it doesn't want to start in cold temperatures. So. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. Start by opening Access Tuner Race and loading the map that you want to edit the fuel tables on. For this example, I'm gonna be using the Stage 2 Plus SF map directly from Cobb's website. And then you, from there, scroll down from the top and find the cranking tables. We're gonna be looking at cranking fuel injector pulse with base A, B, C, D, E, and F. We're going to start with editing cranking fuel injector pulse with base A. And the table looks like this. Highlight the values in the negative 40 over to 32 degrees categories. Hit M on your keyboard for multiply and multiply by 1.30, which will increase those values by 30%. Then highlight from 50 to 68 and multiply those values by 1.05, which is 5%. After that, you are going to want to highlight the whole table, all the values, hit edit, and copy selected cell values. Now what you want to do is you want to make all of the cranking tables look like the, ta the table from injector pulse with A. So go into B, Highlight the whole table, hit edit, and paste copied cell values. And now it looks just like A does. And you want to do the same thing with all of the cranking tables from A through F. After you're done with that, you can scroll down further and find the post start tables. We're going to start with post start enrichment high speed decay initial start 1A. table looks like this. Highlight the values in negative 40 all the way over to 50 and multiply that by 35%. Then highlight 68, the value in 68 individually and multiply that by 20%. Now you're going to want to do the same thing in 1B, 2A, and 2B on high speed. And further down, there's the post start enrichment low speed decay, initial 1A, 1B, and 2A, and 2B. You want to go into these tables individually and do the multiplying. You don't want to copy and paste like we did in the cranking tables. But all of the values in these tables are going to be the same. So from negative 40 over to 50, it's multiplying by 35% and then 68 is 20%. It's gonna be the same on all, um, all eight of those tables. After that, you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the warm-up tables. We're gonna start with warm-up enrichment primary TGVs open. Highlight from 50 to negative 40 and then all the way down and multiply these values by 20% and do the same thing with the TGVs closed portion of the table. And then after you've done your reflash, give it a start and see how it does. 